welcome. I'm so glad you're here. So for you, 30 lives in 30 days. Um, and for Facebook, it's day 92. Um, so we need to follow up with this wash tan that we started. So last Friday, I joined Quita Allen of All Shabbed Out right here um, for Friday Night Live. And I started a horizontal ombre, you guys. Um, I started with Bohemian Blue, Skeleton Key, and then finished with this crinoline right here. So like you guys can't see very well. Um, and I added a little bit of a copper patina drip. I love it over the Bohemian Blue just because there's more of a contrast. However, it's still a really, really good look. Um, but as you can see, I've softened it. So if you happen to catch me on Friday or Saturday with this piece, it was a lot more, mm, what's the word I'm looking for? It wasn't as soft and as smooth. And you can kind of tell up top um, where I have not sanded it. So what I did today, just now, before I went live, I grabbed my, um, my sanding sponge, which was, um, I think a 320 grit. And I really heavily distressed this and really smoothed. So now you can see that the colors are blending really, really well together. You could also do wet sanding. Um, I just kind of wanted to really, really distress it a lot. And I wanted to do it quickly so I could get on here for you guys. So I did that, and now what I want to do is add an IOD transfer. And if you're not sure, it's an IOD, meaning Iron Orchid Designs. Thank you for the thumbs up and the hearts, you guys. I'm so glad you're here. Hi, Raylan. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Carmelina. Um, I have YouTube and Facebook going. So I teased you guys on Facebook and said, after 90 days, I'm moving over to YouTube. But of course, I wasn't going to leave you guys out. Of course. Um, so if you're not familiar... This is a little bit of a bohemian look, right? I mean, an ombre and it's horizontal. It's totally different than what I've been doing. A lot of times I'll do either the top to the bottom or bottom to the top, vice versa. But I want to go horizontal because I have not done that in about four years. Um, so we used three colors to make five. And then I added a metallic drip. Now, we are only halfway through, guys, because we have not added our toile. We have not added our waxes, which added several other colors. So we have a long ways to go. We're on part three. There will probably be part five or part six. Um, so we're getting there. We're getting there. Um, if you're not familiar, Iron Orchid Designs, they make this twall right here. Okay, so I mix in styles. I get it. We're going for a boho French look here. So I get that we're mixing styles here. Um, I'm going to grab my brayer, which this is another product by Iron Orchid Designs. What you do is you're going to take your paint, which I have um, all DIY paint. That's all that I use. I use it exclusively. It's so easy to use, and it's a clay-based. Um, and so I don't worry about it getting on me. I don't worry about the fumes or any. No VOC. So this is old school. That's like a, well, it's like a charcoal. It's the best way to describe it. So I'm going to pour it out just a little bit onto a flat surface, flat paper. Then I'm going to take my brayer, and I'm going to fill my brayer full of paint. And then I'm going to roll it on my stamp. Now, these are the rubber stamps, you guys. When you get it, you tear it apart with your muscles. Hey, guys, I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad you're here. Um, so, look, you can use these forever. They're reusable. There's three different floral uh, rubber stamps. Then there's a little bit of script down here in the corner. And another one over here. So I'm going to just actually use all of them on this wash stand. Like I said, we're going for a boho French look. I know that I'm blending styles. Um, boho is all me all the way. The French isn't necessarily. But I think that this thing would be really, really sweet um, in a bedroom or in a small living room, in a beach house. Um, so I'm going to add the toile. Now, when we do that, we're going to have to let it dry because we're going to distress the heck out of it. OK, so the way I distressed this piece right here, you can see all of the natural wood coming through. That's what we're going to do with this after we get it on there. So there's going to be parts where the twalls real heavy. OK, it's going to come on just randomly. It's going to be really heavy. And then I'm tomorrow I'm going to sand it back and distress it really heavily. So it's very faded. Then we have waxing to do. We have some layering. I may even come back with just a little bit of another color as well. So we have several steps to go. We're not even halfway there. Um, so I'm going to grab my brayer. I'm going to pour out some paint, old school charcoal. Um, 
again, the colors that I used on this being blue. Now, they don't have a top coat on them. So once you add a wax, which is called Big Top, no, haha. <laughs> Facebook, change that, beep it out, change it up, whatever. I said it wrong. Um, and guys, it's a joke. Facebook doesn't do that for me, but I wish they did when I screw it. So when you add a top coat, ours is called Big Top. It's a clear semi-gloss finish that I love to use if I'm not going to be waxing. It really pulls the color back out because this is a dark teal. The Skeleton Key is like the perfect shade of green, gray, blue. Um, and then crinoline is a creamy yellow, which you would call like an almond or an ivory color. That's what you're getting here. Thank you for the thumbs up over here on YouTube. My kids over here that are watching me every day, 92 days in a row. I knew you would show up. Thank you. We've got old school down here. I'm going to pour it out for a minute. All right. I know y'all can't see what I'm doing, but there's just no way for me to fit everything in this little screen. This is the brayer from Iron Orchid Designs. I'm going to roll it into my paint. I'm going to cover my brayer. So it looks like this. See? And then I'm going to roll it over my stamp, which is here. Okay? And I'm going to roll it onto the toile. This brayer saves you from, well, you have more control over it. And then it saves you from getting too much paint on your stamp. Now, since we're going to distress this really heavily, we're not going to worry about getting the paint perfectly on the stamp. In fact, I really encourage it to not be perfect. Um, if this is your first time to be watching me, you will find out that I don't like perfect. Um, it doesn't really work for me. So I'm just going to randomly stamp this here. And I'm going to carry it down into, onto the second drawer. And I'm going to remove all of the paint from the stamp. I'm going to gently pull it off real fast. You still there, guys, up there on YouTube? I lost connection for a minute. I don't know what happened. Um, have you done your mixing bowl yet? Hi, Malia. Okay. Okay, you guys are still there up on YouTube. I don't know what happened. I apologize for that. So this is the brayer. I'm going to go again. I'm going to just roll some of this paint onto the brayer. So we're going to have to funk this baby up just a little bit because she can't be perfect. I have no desire for her to be perfect looking. But we're going to go go with the boho French look using this IOD stamp. It's called the Rose Toile. And I'm using old school. It's a charcoal color. <clears throat> Excuse me. From IO. No. From DIY. Okay, so I rolled it onto this one right here. And I'm going to randomly go down here to this drawer. I'm going to press it on all over this piece of furniture. These rubber stamps, you can use over and over and over again. You just have to clean them up when they get too much paint on them. Press it really hard. Pull it off. Woo! Did it again. This is fun. Oh, and I threw it across the room. Threw it across the room. All right, so right here, I think I'm going to put some words. So you can see that this is the charcoal. You can barely see it right here on this bohemian blue. Um, you can see it a little bit more here on Facebook. But when I add my top coat to it, it's really going to pop off of this bohemian blue. I promise. Um, all right. So brayer. Roll it loading it up and then I'm going to smooth it over these words on my stamp. Okay. And I'm going to press these words right here onto this drawer delicately. You can't screw it up. You can't screw it up guys. It's a twall pattern. Nobody's paying that close attention anyway. I love it. Now, we are in like step three. Okay, there'll probably be about six steps on this. Um, 
once I get this entire piece covered top to bottom, we won't cover the entire piece with twill, but I'm going to come down here a little bit more. It's all going to be random on the sides and on the top. Then we're going to distress the crud out of it. Crud. Can you say crud? We can distress the crud out of it. Um, and so it will not even be as perfect as it looks right now. Um, but then we'll come back in with some wax. We may add a little dark brown wax to antique a little bit. I may need to come back in with my copper. We can love this, especially over here. It's hard for you guys to tell from the camera, but when I take photos and get this posted on social media, you'll really be able to see what kind of difference it makes. So I'm going to get some more uh, paint, old school, loaded on my sprayer. I love it. Okay. So for some reason, my phone's having trouble. Um, guys, I apologize. I've never had that issue before. I don't know if it's because I'm on, I don't know what the deal is. So um, my Wi-Fi works perfectly fine. So um, I'm back and I apologize for you guys that keep, I keep coming in and out. Um, I'm not having any trouble with YouTube. I mean with Facebook, so I apologize. But anyway, I'll be here every single day. So as you can see, it's going to be a random. We're going to do a um, French boho look. Our bohemian skeleton key. Let's let me show you that color, guys, because it's really kind of deceiving. Um, because what happens is all of my colors end up um, blending, of course. Um, so it's kind of a gray, blue, green, all of it. It's all right here in this can. So it's a great, great color. It's almost like an. It's a. It's really a vintage, historical color. So for those of you that um, really like French design. Skeleton key is a good color, um, a historical color. Um, we have several like apothecary, um, like I said, skeleton key, mint chip. Those are our really popular colors. Prairie gray is another one that works really well for French design, but since my boho blue for my toile. So this will change. Um, I'm so glad that this is your first time here, Charlotte. Thank you so much. Um, guys, thanks for being here. Day 92 up in here over on Facebook. It's day two out of 30 that I'm going to be here. I'm going to show up every day. You guys doing some sort of project on YouTube. And as long as I have enough time, I'm going to add you guys too. So um, I'll be back tomorrow. Not sure what time. And if you have any questions, you can always email me, Dion at thetruckwithcyrus.com um, or send me a private message. And um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to keep doing some twall. But I got to figure out what's going on this connection.